For the next 30 days, I'm using my brother's professional training routine to see just how good I can get in one month. See, I've always been a bit shit at football, but my brother, he's pretty decent. Growing up playing football with my brother, he was always playing up age groups and impressing coaches and I wasn't really setting the world alight myself. I still played in academies and at my university at a pretty decent level, but always felt like I never really fulfilled my potential. And that's where my brother comes in. He's gonna show me how to train exactly like a pro and give me some insights into how the pros do it. But why do all this? I'm not trying to go pro, that ship has already sailed at the ripe age of 24. But what's the next best thing? Semi-pro, of course. In the UK, semi-pro football is called non-league and it's not exactly a walk in the park. In fact, right now, I'm miles away from the level that these guys play at, but I've got to strive towards something. There's a lot of work to be done, but I'm looking forward to this journey. This is The Road to Semi-Pro, episode one. What does your typical game day look like? So breakfast, you usually just have like three scrambled eggs, a big, um, big bowl of porridge, some fruit. And then lunch, usually protein shake with some oats and stuff in it, some carbohydrates, like a banana, and then like maybe a, a sandwich or something. Say so you play Saturday, you fucking go all out, and then Sunday, are you just chilling all day, yeah? Most clubs have been out. If you played more than 45 minutes, like Sunday would be off, and then Monday, it's a recovery session. So they usually have like good food on, you're doing like massage, ice baths, hot tub, you know, bike, foam rolling. You can go for like a little run if you want. Okay, any gym? Uh, yeah, you should do, do like some light, like body weight stuff or like if you want to do some upper body. And then Tuesday, you're back in training but not like going flat out or what? So it's a lot of like small sided, a lot of change of direction. Wednesday, bigger games, you know, like 8v8s, 9v9s. And then we do a lower body day. Thursday would be like a down, like low key day. So we go in and just do like maybe like passing drill, some shape work. Thursday is like testosterone day, you know, do like bicep, <laughs> bicep. All right. And then Friday, some like small tight possession, some reaction drill. And then you do like set pieces. And then they do it all over again, week in, week out. The life of a footballer in the modern game requires absolute dedication to the craft from what you eat to how you recover both physically and mentally. Obviously, I don't have the same facilities or time that the pros do, so this program is designed for people like me who work full time, or if you're a student, this program is for you. All you need is a football, a gym, and some people to play football with, and you can do everything on this program. Every day starts with a morning routine of foam rolling, stretching, and ball mastery, so we feel loose and get a few touches on the ball. Day one is game day. Whatever day of the week your team plays, or you play a pickup game, that's day one. Day two is rest day. Most pros do anything besides football to get their mind off the game. A lot play golf, which I've also gotten into recently. Day three is recovery day and our first gym day of the week. The pros will have all the recovery facilities like pools, massages, cryotherapy. I'll be doing ice baths in my tub. Day four is strength day. We'll be playing small sided pickup games, focusing on different parts of our game each time. Day five is endurance day. It's our toughest day of the week. We do leg day and play small sided game. Day six is a low intensity day. We'll be doing wall drills, working on our first touch and passing, and also an optional upper body workout. Day seven is prep day. We'll be doing plyometrics and preparing for the game the next day. That's the program and you can download it in my bio for completely free. And now the time has come. Day one of the challenge means only one thing, it's game day. I start off with my morning routine of foam rolling, stretching and ball mastery, then make sure to eat right before my game, which I'll show now. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the first game of the series. I get the ball and lose it immediately. What a start. Next touch straight into the keeper and we're off to a flyer. This is really good stuff on show. But don't worry, I get the ball, take this lad on using the cage and I find my teammate with a delicate pass who takes it first time and skies one over the bar, scaring the cameraman. And this lad doesn't learn from his mistakes. Absolute one trick pony and I skip past him using the cage. Here, a bit of scrappy defending myself, and I nutmeg him out the back. That is just disrespectful. That's absolutely sublime goalkeeping there, really putting his body on the line. Again, doing my midfield duties, getting the ball back, and progressing play. Red plays a lovely ball over the top, and he first times it, hitting the cameraman again. He's proper fuming at this stage, but it comes back out, and Red plays me in, and I find the back of the net for the first goal of the series. What a start, and the general level of play from the lads today was outstanding. I mean... Who put the crossbar there? Here, I pick up the ball in our half and just start running. And this lad is completely lost. One drop of the shoulder and he's forgotten where the goal is. 
it opens up for my teammate and I don't know how he scored that. I mean, the goalkeeping is it's just unreal. And if you've ever played sport and two players swap jerseys, it means one team is getting spanked. And it was me doing a bit of the spanking, so the refs put me on the other team. And first order of business for the new team is to blaze one over the bar. You know I'm loyal to my boys, but that doesn't mean we can't still have a little fun. Little nutmeg and I pass it straight to the keeper. I mean, that's just pure loyalty and respect to where I came from. But it didn't last. I'm a cutthroat bastard after all. And it wasn't long before I scored against my boys. Still, put my hands up to show respect. But this lad wasn't having it and he sticks one on me to show me how he really feels about that nutmeg. I definitely felt that one, but I wasn't going to let him get away with it. And next time I got the ball through the legs again and I end up on the canvas. All right, guys, I'm just back from the game there and something crazy has already happened. So the guy who was hosting the game, the amazing goalkeeper who made me swap jerseys with another player, he came up to me after and was like, I work for Footy Addicts, which is the app that I use to join these games. And he said he's been going around London to different games, trying to put together a team of players to play against other teams at a more competitive level. And he even said some of the other teams have players that were in the system. So X academy and X semi-pro players who got released from their contracts. And he said that he wants me to come for a trial game next week. So straight away, I was like, yes, this series literally couldn't have started any better. One game in and I'm already getting scouted. Obviously not for a semi-pro team yet. It's still amateur level, but it's a step in the right direction. So the rest of this week, I'll just be prepping for that game. And I suppose I'll be posting that game as well as the first week's training in the video next Sunday. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on your notifications so you don't miss that. Until next time, guys, take it easy and have a good one.